All right, I'm gonna walk through building a three pack sealed deck. These are the packs from previous videos and we're just gonna try to build a 30 card deck as that's how it goes with three packs sealed. Uh, one thing I like to do first is to separate rares and then by colors, lands, artifacts, and then colors. So here's black and if you're particularly like me, you can put them in Wooberg order. Now, as I fan these out, um, so three packs sealed, you're looking to build, um, you want like 17 playables. In a 40 card deck, you want like 23 or 24. In three pack, you probably want 17 because you're playing 12 or 13 lands. So, and in three pack sealed, you don't have that much card diversity. So you'll be actually pretty lucky to build uh, two colors, but from what I've seen and experienced, I think most of the time you'll end up uh, with two and a splash color or just straight up three colors. Oh. And kind of interesting, the three rares, they are Jeskai rares, although I don't think I'd play them all, but we'll see, we'll see. So as I kind of finish up sorting these out, this is white. Uh, I kind of look through each pile, see what's playable, and kind of uh, have an idea of, and that kind of gives an idea of what color I should be in. So Vulpakeet, not bad. Imposing Venser, not bad. These are all okay, with maybe a Savai Sabretooth as definitely not if I don't have to. So, I mean, right here we have what I would consider five white playables. I mean, some aren't that great, but you'd play them, right? So let's do this. And blue. I don't really want to play that. Thieving Otter, Hampering Snare. Pretty good. Don't really need a looter. This is a maybe. Glimmer Bell's a maybe. So we're kind of looking at uh, I might not even want Reconnaissance Mission. So we're looking at two blues, one maybe. So blue not looking too great. Black is pretty good here because we do have Heartless Act and Blood Curdle. I remember those from previous videos. Uh, Lurking Dead Eyes is okay. Maybe not suffering, Suffocating Fumes or Zagoth Mamba. Corpse Charm, not really. This Bastions of Remembrance is a maybe. These are okay. So, five. Maybe Suffocating Fumes is a maybe. Just because it cycles. So, five-ish cards. Do you want to play? Again, we're looking for 17 playables. Wouldn't really want that. Dryness Stinger is always good. Cloud Piercers. Okay is a top end card. Threat effects usually aren't that great and uh, same with combat tricks. Although this one, the first drag counter sticks around so that's nice. It's so kind of like one maybe two playables is what I'm thinking right now. And green, we don't need the fog. This is okay, this is okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And the same card, so like two playables and three maybes is what we're looking at for this pile. And oh, this is actually white. And this card, yeah, I put that playable. As far as reasons to go a certain color or a certain way, we do have these cards. Um, I don't think I'm inclined to play the ultimatum just because decking is a thing. We wouldn't have thought four mana do nothing and we don't have that many non-creature spells I don't think. Right now I'm leaning towards black. Black-white seems viable uh, even though 
we don't have legendary humans, the activated ability does come in handy, and uh, this could essentially be a white card. So I'm going to keep my eye on these. Um, this is, this could just be a red spell. Uh, we don't really need the white blue part. It could just be a four mana five damage divided among creatures and planeswalkers. So, what's that? Spring Draw Trap, probably not. Don't need the Crystal, don't need Sleeper Dart. So, probably not going to be looking into artifacts. Dual Lands, this would obviously be a nice reason to go red, white, green, but... So, let's see. So right now we're kind of thinking white, black, right? Because as far as black playables, we have... Five and let's say six because white black humans is a thing. And then mutate, mutate. You do want non human creatures. Seven. So what are we looking at here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 14, 15. That's already 15 in just white, black. And if I wanted 17, I could say Sub King Fumes. Maybe the Zygoth Mamba because we have one, two mutates. So that is a reason. That's pretty good, although we are. Peasant, we are not playing any of our rares. Um, so let's move blue aside. We're probably definitely not playing blue or artifacts. And as far as red and green, we don't have too many compelling reasons to play green. I mean, Essence Symbiote, if we were like green white, uh, Karana Stinger. Yeah, there's not too many reasons to be in red, unfortunately. And in green, there's just like, really just these two cards. Don't really want the combat trick. Uh, doesn't do too much, and it has a chance to whiff. Monstrous Step is only okay at best. So I think we're pretty safe to put green and red aside. Although... I mean, with Winstar Crag, you can consider splashing red, but we can't even splash the Mythos because it's double red, or there's less reason to. I mean, maybe Grand Stinger, because it does cycle, Cloud Piercer, because it's one pip, and uh, it's on the top end, so it's not like you need the red mana right away. It also mutates, so that's kind of... Keep these on the top of the stack while we put these aside. And again, this is only three packs, so our curve probably won't be that great. Oops. So let's see. Now this is the 17 black and white cards that we deem playable. Normally, I like to do like a eight, seven to eight non-creature spells and uh, six, 15 to 16 creature spells uh, for a 40 card deck. Of course, we can't be too picky. And that's our top curve. So very heavy on four. Yeah, super heavy on four. But, so let's look at non-creature spells. I'm not even too high on Corpse Churn. Might want just a card to cycle instead. And we have Bastion of Remembrance. And all of these except Blood Curdle. So five non-creature spells and 12 creature spells. That's pretty good split. Again, we can look at what red might have to offer. Mm. So 
So things that stick out right off the bat that might not I might not like is the two bush meat poachers. They're not that great. And like Savai Sabretooth. These are my maybes and corpse churn. These are kind of like the I'm on the edge about. But I don't know if Okay, so definitely not playing those. So really just looking at these three cards to splash red for. Mm. I guess Grand Stinger might be okay. Like cut a bush meat poacher for. It's the worst case scenario you cycle it. And Cloud Piercer might be better than I guess another bush meat poacher, right? Uh, I say that just because it's 4 mana 2 4. Hmm. It doesn't do all that much. Cloud Piercer does make the Zagoth Mamba a little better. And it could be a 4 drop if you mutate it. So if I put that aside and put that here. Now. We have to be careful because mutate targets we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So out of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So half our creatures are mutate targets, so that's good. So this is what I might run. It's not the greatest, but this is what we have. I don't think we'd want to play any of our artifacts. Maybe Spring Jaw Trap, but it's not too appealing. So this is probably what I'd play. I'd put in the Windscarred Crag. Uh, and then since we're splashing red, we'd probably want three red sources. And then the rest, I would just count up the mana symbols and uh, do whatever fraction is black, whatever fraction is white and then make sure I have three red sources. So of the 10 lands left, right? Cause it's one mountain mountain. And then of the 10 lands left, figure out what needs to be white and black. And that's what I would build. I'll post the sealed pool and also the deck list. Tell me what you guys think. And also this is probably what you would expect if you saw my video about value wars, how three pack sealed would work. And this is probably what I would run with if I were to enter the fourth and fifth round of Value Wars. Let me know what you guys think. So I actually realized I miscounted and there are 18 cards here. So with that said, I would actually cut the Corpse Churn. And these would be the 17 I'm playing. Sorry about that.